we're starting to see that emerge. Um, I think on Fountain and on Stacker News, uh, we're seeing advertisers in different forms. So advertisers in the form of like an audio clip on Fountain and then advertisers in the form of a job poster on Stacker News. And they're effectively funneling revenue. So they're paying for placement and that revenue then flows to the users of the product. So you're right, it is it is kind of picking up already. There's a bit of steam um, behind that idea of like users being paid for participating on a platform and being targeted, right? Yeah, and I think I think what's missing currently is is the is the provider that does this as a business, right? Because Right now, all those companies and all those platforms do it by themselves. They do it in their closed system. And it's like, there is no place where I could go. Maybe there is an agency, agency I don't know of, but like there is no place that I can go to set up a campaign, for example, um, and that would then run on Fountain as an audio clip or in Stack and News as a, yeah, Stack and News now, is, and now has those job postings, right? But I think you understand what I mean. There is no, there is no place where I can go to get my get my ad to all the platforms. There is the the middleman is currently missing, and and uh, if there is someone out there listening to this podcast that that has that wants to found a company, I think that would that that's currently missing. That's the missing piece to have like a have like a technology or a standard that actually plugs in with all those with all those endpoints, and that could be that, yeah central platform to like where, where an advertiser could just put in a campaign and it will would, it would run on different places i don't as an advertiser i don't want to go to all the platforms and build different assets for all platforms and have to adjust everything i want to just put in a line item in a system and then click on on a button and maybe connect it with my node of like fund a wallet that will automatically pay invoices that come from other systems and i think that is exactly what i meant when i said Lightning enables open standards because now I don't even need to know the person that I'm selling my ad to, right? Ad, that I'm buying ad space from, sorry, that, that, right? Um, because I can just have that system that connects to different platforms, fund a wallet and click go, right? And now all the payment will be done while serving the ad, not having to bill afterwards or not having to do stuff, right? Obviously, there's still the tax thing that we need to worry about, but let's not talk about that because it just makes things too complicated. We don't know where where we are in like two decades with that. Um, mm-hmm. But but I think I think that would be that that is currently the missing piece. Having like one place where you can insert your ad and then it would like spread out to all those Bitcoin platforms that are currently out there that support advertisement, and obviously they would have to implement that as well, right? To have that that endpoint to actually receive the ad and pay for the ad as well or get paid yeah. for the ad space big idea for the uh, bitcoin entrepreneurs listening to this yeah um, exactly in the short term though if we think about the you know creator space in lightning how do you think monetization is going to work in the next couple of years like not not thinking of the next couple of decades but just right now and into the next couple of years we have a few different models emerging, right? We've talked about advertising, we have value for value, and then we have, uh, you know, pay as you enjoy or like set pricing, things like mash offer like a, a spin on value for value. They have, they have some similarities and some differences. Um, and then, you know, there's, then there's just direct, like, you know, pay $10 for this branded coffee mug or something. You know, how, how do you think the, the if you can break those different segments down, which one do you think will dominate in the next couple of years for the Bitcoin creators and the, the Lightning kind of community? Um, I definitely think value for value is something very valid that we'll see a lot of use in the future as well. Um, and we do, I mean, with podcasting 2.0, right? You have that very cool and user friendly integration where it actually works, right? What I think currently is missing is like that little bump to the user that says hey by the way you enjoyed this show for like an hour now it is time to maybe give something back i think that's that's a big problem right if you if you i think there is even a study about that if if you like if you have like an event and you don't put a price on it but you say everyone that attends has to donate 
you will actually make more money than if you would have priced the event before, right? I think that I, I'm pretty sure I read a study about that. I need to, I need citation needed on that point, but but I can definitely imagine us humans that that, that we work like that, right? That that um, having that instead or having that um, that feeling in your heart that you want to give back is something that can be leveraged by by content creators, not in a bad way. When I say leverage, it sounds a little bit like scam, but that's not what I meant. Um, I th but I think the implementations that we currently have lack that that little bump or like reminder that says, hey, give something back. As soon as we have that, and it's not really hard to do, I would love to see that more on, on like value for value platforms. Um, I think that is a very valid model to monetize. But again, it is a very risky model as well because you can't, you can't really calculate your 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 monthly return from that, right? It's very hard if you have like if you have to pay bills to be like, okay, well, hopefully I get enough donations in the next month to actually pay my bills, right? It's very hard to calculate, um, and that's something that that we see with open source development as well. Um, so, right. I think it will definitely be used a lot, especially once, like as I said, implementation gets to the next level and it gets more adopted as well because right now there's talking about podcasting 2.0 there's breeze and fountain that i know of um but those those applications don't have enough use yet um and there's a lot of people that just listen to to podcasts on spotify or somewhere else um so that's that's one issue um i definitely think that idea of paying for content while you enjoy um is something that that will develop even that 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 might be a, a even more valid case for like content creators to monetize the platform. I mean, like I'm very biased on that, right? <laughs> because at Starbucks we do have pay gates, for example. We do mm -hmm. have monthly monthly subscriptions for creators, um, and I think the reason why that works so good is because it doesn't need it it it, it doesn't require the user to rethink everything because they are used to those models from legacy platforms. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it is black and white as well. I think we can find we can find methods and and monetization models that lie in between, right? That have a little bit of value for value, that have a little bit of like pay up front, that have a little bit of pay where you enjoy. Um, yeah. So, um, but I definitely I definitely see the whole I see the whole use case around like 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 monetization through lightning of content creators. Um, but I'm, what I'm always worried a little bit about, and I might get a lot of booze for that, but I, what I'm always a little bit worried about is also like the whole bookkeeping and like tax thing. And that's not very important if you have like a small YouTube channel and you earn like a couple of bucks each week. But if you want to actually like earn a living and have to pay bills and everything, that might get very difficult, right? If you don't have, right, that you, you get into a weird position, it definitely depends on your jurisdiction as well and where you live. Um, but that's definitely one, one thing that is way easier to solve with pay up front. Here's a bill, here's an invoice, L like not a lightning invoice, but a real invoice. This is now, this is your VAT, you're done now. Right. Um, right. so yeah, 